In August of 2005, Hurricane Katrina and the devastation that it left in New Orleans and the Mississippi Gulf Coast became the largest natural disaster to ever hit America. 80% of the city was underwater. And nearly nine months later, much of the city's population have still been unable to return to the city to the life that they once knew. I just got off from uh, my job at Our Lady of the Lake in Baton Rouge. I'm currently stationary and still in Baton Rouge due to the hurricane. I had to come down and vote for uh, Ray Nagin simply because he was the only mayor, the only politician that would have ever stood with us through the time of a disaster. I know the psychological effect on him was traumatic as well as our police department. I commend him. No one else would have did the job that he did and he put his family and his selfishness aside to help the people of the greater of New Orleans. And Mayor Nagin, I'm very proud of you. If there's anything I can do for you, you have all of me because you was a real trooper. I mean, you know, it was a unexpected catastrophe. And I think his response, well, he was there. Um, he was he was in front of the cameras. He was out there in a leadership position, and I think his response was appropriate. Yeah, he yelled and screamed, but it was appropriate. But many have returned today to exercise their right to vote in the mayoral election. There are 22 candidates on today's ballot for mayor, including the incumbent Mayor Ray Nagin, who has come under attack for his approach to obtaining state and federal help during Katrina. Today is the day we're going to shock the world one more time. Y'all yeah! ready to do this? Yeah! This is going to be an epic battle. This is going to be a time when y'all got to be on y'all toes. All right. They're already out there tearing down our signs. Yeah. They're already out there mobilizing. But they don't know we got a special group of people. Prior to Katrina and during the heyday of Nagin's administration, he was hailed for his efforts to clean up City Hall and to make it easier for citizens to do business with the city. One can even obtain permits, review contracts, and access tax information from the web. And so now, as you can see, it's going to be up to the citizens to decide who will lead the monumental task of rebuilding New Orleans. Because right now, after Katrina, it's not about just self. It's about others. You know, New Orleans is a city that is unique, that does care for people. And I just want to say the way he stayed here throughout the ordeal, be it a... Uh, rumors whether he left for a couple of days to check on his family whatever which a man is supposed to do he still was here i don't see where anyone else called out the state government the federal government like he did and for that he needs to be applauded not as a not as a mayor but as a man who loves the city which he just happens to be the mayor of and so if no one receives 50 percent of the vote today there will be a runoff in late may just in time for hurricane season we don't have long lines we generally don't have long lines in louisiana in most places because we have enough polling places and the ballot is short enough it is managed well enough that uh, a voter can cast his ballot in the allotted three minutes. So by the time we get you signed in, we get you voted out. So the question being asked today is, should we elect someone new, or will voters choose to allow Mayor Nagin the opportunity to finish what he started? I'm Monique Walker, reporting for the Independent News Network.